Sydney, Australia, years ago. Young Heather Thompson follows her bad news dad up the elevator of a building that's still under construction one dark night. Her dad and some thugs are interrogating a man there, and his young son is also there for the ride. They're asking about the whereabouts of some money, with shocking results. Still, some years ago, but not as many, Heather has grown up into a real downer of a young lady. She's a drug addict who spends her days running from her dad, his dark past, and his dirty thugs. She's hiding in downtown Sydney, stealing cookies from the welfare department office, like you do, looking in an office building for her next bed and next bad time. Sure enough, she and a couple of friends in heroin have found that place. The ultimate place to shoot up and get down. An empty place way up on, yes, that's right, the 13th floor. How did you guess that? You're so smart. And I bet you knew it was the same building from before, too. Well, that floor that she was on before, way back when, is finished now, as far as construction goes. But it's nowhere near finished with the events of that night from all those elevator trips long, long ago. Now, this place is as empty as only the dead can be. Do you dare enter the cinematic elevator and see what's lurking on 1988's The 13th Floor? Wow, just like the different floors in an actual building, the movie The 13th Floor is built from about 13 different genres. Keep up with me, there's quirky homeless romance, tepid political mystery, crime noir sprints with chubby guys who smoke mid-skedaddle, tax evasion computer thrillers, disgusting slob pool dunking sex comedy bits, really, really depressing drug overdose scenes, running up and down staircase action sequences, it goes on. The 13th floor rapidly cycles between these different floors or genres, if you will. And while none of them overstay their welcome, they also really don't deliver anything meaningful. It's an impressive assortment of pieces to fit into a horror movie, definitely. Just one problem. Horror isn't really among the genres here. I looked into the director's background, director and writer Roach. The idea of covering a whole building filled with kooky characters and their concurrent stories seemed to me to be a better foundation for a TV series because those parts kind of work better than the scary stuff. Better for a TV series than a movie, at least. And my research into the guy, Roach, did indeed confirm that he wrote exclusively for television. It feels like he got stuck trying to condense all these genres and characters into 90 minutes, and maybe he had some ideas for a longer series. And then he decided that well, I can't make sense of this story, so killing everyone was the easiest way off the elevator ride. Ding, you've arrived at probably the unluckiest floor for a quirky, character-driven, political intrigue sex comedy, the horror genre. So, even if horror is on the floor plan now, don't expect elevator decapitations or building-related brutalities or anything that you would expect from a haunted building movie and other haunted evil elevator movies. The best horror you're getting here on the 13th floor is scary electrical closets that it look like possums are inside holding a rave. And they're Australian possums, so they're friendly. It's cool. Uh, little ghost kids and early Raiden from Mortal Kombat test reels. Raiden wins fatality. More people die from the actions of humans, knives, and real-world intrigue than any ghost in this horror ghost movie. Not all of this movie is bad, though. The scene with the little ghost kid watching a woman overdose was pretty wicked. Imagine a dead child observing a depressed woman killing herself with drugs. Jesus, that's heavy. So heavy it feels like the elevator just shot up 13 floors in a second. Weren't we just watching like this Rambo-worshipping security guard of nunchucks get a boner after being pushed into a pool? <laughs> God, this movie's just all over the place. Now, all of this said, I didn't hate my time on the 13th floor. I really liked the goofball characters, the air conditioner chilled and eerie office building ambience. The late 1980s chiller music wasn't bad. The acting was pretty good. And even the ghost portions have a certain charm to them. I give the 13th floor three nunchuck security guards out of five. The 13th floor is a bad horror movie, but a pretty good slice of life comedy about wacky heroin users in the 80s. All right. You don't have to jump off the building, but it's not worth stopping the elevator for, either.